cosmic shake today. I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. We're going to hop right back into the game and see what we can do. Let's get to it. Oh. Can't forget the headphones because this game has some pretty bomb music. Ah! Come on! Got him. No, no, there's another one. Dang. What going on there? Drink that cacti, SpongeBob. Get their juices. Oh, I'm going to need more sap than that, boy. Oh. Boil. Hey, it's pufferfish. I just swore I saw Mr. Krabs. You're seeing things, SpongeBob. All this desert must be giving you sand brain. What flavor do you think it is? Oh, oh, careful. You don't want to get that good old sand brain. Yo! That was close. Alright, here's another cacti. Real question is, where is Sponge Blob storing it? And he is a sponge, but if he's storing it himself, like, he has got all the water here from Bikini Bottom. It's not another old sign. It says, Mine Closed Bullworm Activity. That little wormy must be pretty busy to make such big holes. Well, maybe we should keep moving, Patrick. Who knew the desert was such a hazardous environment? Most people. Especially if you've ever lived in the desert. Hundred percent personal. I thought there was a person there. There goes another cacti. Cactus natively grows on my property, and because of it, we've gotten some cool ones. And we've gotten some bad ones. Ooh. Before I go back up, I want to see if there's anything over here. We had uh, one cactus for the longest time that we called Satan. And that thing, every time you would look at it, you would have something stuck in your finger. Like, it legit was a thing. It used to drive us crazy. 
It's like it hasn't even touched us. But like every time we would look at it, we would have like a cacti ring in our hand. And it was so evil that we ended up just leaving it at a place we used to rent and live in. Previously. And that thing... Like, I feel bad for whoever has to deal with that cactus. It was the most evil cacti. Be careful over there, Patrick. But we got some aloe vera cactus that also grows. Taking a few sprigs of it. Aloe vera is super awesome. What is making that snake sound? Is there something over here? Okay, you can't go up any more on that. Just odd because I keep hearing it. Ooh, close. Man, this place is dangerous. Yeah, it is. How do you get up there? Clearly there's a way. Is very interesting. They make it where you can get up there. It makes you think you could do something up there. Almost didn't see it. Sign says, Turn back. Mine closed. Hungry bullworm. Seriously. This little worm sounds like a big problem. <laughs> How old is this sign again? Not that old. Oh. Looks like you've come a real long way. Be a shame if you screwed up now. Eh, hey, don't pay any attention to him. What can possibly go wrong? Ooh. Oh, another one. One more. And boom. Oh, yeah, drain it. I think we've fallen down some kind of large, dark, worm-shaped cavern. That means it was probably made by a ferocious, terrifying creature, like a goose. You gotta watch out for the Canadian geese. They'll take down the plane. Next thing you know, it's like Sully in the area outside of New York. I see. I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, take me toward it. Wait, no, I'm not ready. Okay, now I'm ready. <laughs> so gooey. Is 
Because there, there was one we missed. I can't tell if we've gone this way yet. It's so dark. Uh. Oh, sponge blob. Wish the camera didn't auto turn as I'm jumping. Nice. We'll find that tooth. Find the missing gold tooth. Alright. Boss battle. If I was a tooth on the loose in the neck of a giant worm, where would I be? Speaking as a slob who lives in a hole, I think something is living in this hole. Bull world, we're on poop. Gary's litter box in here. That smell was not me. I swear. We've got the golden tooth. Hurry, let's get back to the miner before something comes looking for us. Oh my goodness, there's so many. So many jelly guys. Come on. Another one out there. All right, we hear that big bull worm. He's around here somewhere. Still in one of these caves. Since you survived, did you find my tooth? Do snails leave slime in the woods? Of course! Whatever you say, the elevator's all yours, boys. Oh, and I don't know what you did down there, but it left a powerful stink on you. All right, let's take that elevator. That should lift our spirits. I'm surprised we didn't have to battle the bullworm. Moments later. Like I would not have been opposed to a boss battle there. But 
But it makes me think that we have to come back. I wouldn't doubt. I had to do it in the uh, other Spongebob game too. Alright, Spongebob. Gotta collect the blobs. They're stealing our soda supplies! Hurry up, Patrick! We got ourselves a train to catch! May I? Funny coincidence, huh? Bandits steal our train and Mr. Krabs happens to be on it. <laughs> Hold on! Mr. Krabs is the red-handed bandit! We have to get closer so we can bring him home! Come on, Dutch. Mike has given us a hard time again. I feel like we're playing some Red Dead Redemption over here. We got Rob the Train. I feel like we're Arthur Morgan over here. Come on, Sponge Blob. We got this. Gotta do it for your friend Patrick over here. back here. Not oh, just a piano. Whoa. <laughs> How many times can you do that, Mr. Krabs? I always see these little boxes and remind me of a tiki from uh crush yeah crash <laughs> before we go up we want to take these out Ah. Sorry, nothing personal. I like it because it's squishy. It is squishy. Oh, oh, look at the double arrows. Sweet Davy Jones Lockers, SpongeBob. I know you mean well, but you gotta let me stay. Please. You're under arrest, red handed bandit. Like I was 
change, SpongeBob. You gotta get me back. I beg you. This old tough shell won't last a day in jail. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm taking this one in. I sure should stop drinking so much cactus soda on the job. Sure taught me a valuable lesson. That it's not all about money? What? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. It's always about money. I, 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 but I did learn that I can't put a price on me employee of the month. I'm here to help, Mr. Krabs. We'll find Pearl and the Crusty Crab and bring them back on the double. That's a good lad. Now, off you go. I'm sure you can get around a little faster now with those new riding skills of yours. There are still a lot of friends to bring back home, Patrick. Let's ride! Adamatro. The map allows you to travel back to any checkpoint reached in the Wishing Worlds. It can be accessed at any time from the pause menu. Use the map to revisit worlds, complete side quests, and find golden doubloons. Boss fights can be replayed from the map once you have completed the story. We should ask Cassandra where else we can find our friends. That lady knows everything! It's like she has this all planned out. Get rid of these guys. And this thing over here. I do too. School's out. School's out. I don't remember this. SpongeBob, I need your help. Sheldon's pride would never allow him to ask, but your mischief tipped over the chum bucket, and we need you to stand it back up. We already built a meticulously calculated rig, but Sheldon didn't account for his own <clears throat> slight stature. Excuse me. There are more important things than knocked over trash cans. It's not a trash can. It's a bucket. And it's Bikini Bottom's sole restaurant. I know everyone would love to be eating out of a bucket right now, but the fate of the entire universe is currently hanging in the balance. No biggie. I'm sure the universe can hang in there until we've helped a friend in need. I don't get why this doesn't work. My calculations are flawless. Maybe we can help. I don't need your help. But if you want to make up for this whole mess, I guess I would allow you to assist me. Here, use this super velocitous momentum enhancer that I invented to get the job done. Ooh, is that a bubble surfboard? Yes, but I gave it a fancy name, so I get the credit. Nice. I was so happy when I got back. I'm not ashamed to say that I ate some dirt. It wasn't bad. The Krusty Krab pizza is the pizza for you and me. Sweet. Yeah, I've never been in here before, but since the Krusty Krab is gone, I guess I have no choice. Does this place offer anything edible? Technically, yes. We citizens of Bikini Bottom must stand together in these trying times. So, let it be known that the Chum Bucket will humbly accept the role as the town's sole source of sustenance. You fools! <laughs> Plankton, I always suspected that deep down you were a contributing member of society. And don't worry, Patrick and I won't stop until we put everything back to normal, so no one has to eat at the Chum Bucket ever again. 
Wait, was that last part really necessary? A hundred percent. School. Eh, we'll talk to Cassandra first. Oh my, yes. So much pure, unadulterated jelly, so much raw power. To create your next costume. You should find it very familiar, but don't let appearances fool you. When you step through the next portal. Ooh, my karate gear. The most stylish outfit I own. Getting around will be much faster with these seahorses. Will be much bumpier too. For you. Nice. Um, that's hot ball. These jelly things kind of look like something Squidward would make, right? Oh yes, I think he called them. What was the word? What do you call them? Samantha. I'd like to get off. Oh, why did this mount? Okay. Didn't realize there was a dismount thing. Eeyoink. Eeyoink. SpongeBob! Make me think of the Rainbow Unicorn Attack song. Ooh, now I know why they call them stretch limos. You gotta stretch first. You think Sandy came this way? She never struck me as a red carpet squirrel. But, uh, what do I know? Good thing I put on an extra layer of sponge gloss today. The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza for you and me. Ah, oh, this is going to be a hard one. The camera keeps wanting to turn. Just stay facing this way. I like it because it's squishy. We got the angry tiki's. I have to admit, totally would have expected someone bigger for the part, but everyone seems small to me. <laughs> Sorry, am I oversharing? It's my first day, and I'm so nervous. Filming starts in one minute and fifty-eight seconds. Uh, no, fifty-seven. Uh, skip gap. Statistically speaking, the director's assistant only lasts 0.87 days before they're let go. I need to do better. Chop, chop, this way. He isn't the patient kind or the understanding kind or the kind kind. Go on. Wait. I can't believe this is the leading man. Let's take some pictures to capture this train wreck. They're taking photos of us. Are we in the movie? Oh, do I look bloated enough? I just had myself inflated. <laughs> Delete your blow up the stone tiki's. Oh, hey, the sponginator. This is a restricted zone. I mean, just in case there is anything. Oh, nothing. Alright, there's a balloon. We can't do the balloon.
Oh, I like that. Ugh. Woodward is my favorite character from SpongeBob. Hey, Mr. Uh, Mr. Sponge, this way. This way, please. What are you still doing here? Please go through the exit or I will get fired. The director is waiting for you. Huh? How did you get here so fast? She must have cut the line, Patrick. Lucky. Put that jelly in my belly. <laughs> Nothing like that good old belly jelly. Whoa. Oh boy, that is one big heavy jelly. As long as it stays in that cage, you'll be fine. Doing good, getting all that jelly for our belly. Ooh, more jelly. I can't work like this. Yeah, me too. I'm going back home. Alright, so neither of them like working like that. Nothing there. Hey buddy, main cast only. No extras in this area, pal. Hey, your pal, buddy. I'm your friend. Yeah, there's a lot of jelly. Yeah, it is. And they want you as the lead. It's a kid's show. Animation? I don't do animation. You still ask me to do a video game. Oh, oh, we're getting shot at. Oh. Taste, he ain't doing that to me. Isn't that one? No idea. Well, I almost did a game-breaking glitch. Get myself stuck in a wall. We need to find a way to open this door. Oh, I see a button. It's in that cage next to that guy. Oh, you mean that big, mean-looking guy that won't stop looking at us? <laughs> Great. Are you... And I uh. Nope. Whoa. How do I beat you?
Ah, okay. Now we know. All right, well, we kicked his butt. Hope we don't have to face any more of those anytime soon. I mean, honestly, that doesn't sound bad. I go for craft services table as well. in my day but it's all part of the job wow that's dedication but it must be worth it to have all those adoring fans yeah adoring fans right mm -hmm. Say it'd be like some sliced turkey. What squirt of an actor did those at the agency lay upon me? I promised them art, and how do they repay me? I demanded a hero, not a little yellow marshmallow. Did you shrink by spending too much time in a hot tub? <sighs> Hi, Mr. Director, sir. I'm SpongeBob. Show me starting nine. Can't those uncultured casting urchins comprehend that I am allowing them to be part of what is sure to be the greatest film sensation ever to hit the stage? But don't lose heart. I still have the talent to turn you into a tool of destructive beauty. Oh, goody! In this scene, you must fight your way through gang-infested city streets. And don't walk out of frame. Nice. I just want a little taste, please. Oh wow, it's moving kind of fast. Okay, it's moving really fast. Oh my goodness, catch up, Spongebob. Dude, there's so much going on. Oh, 
Not faster. It's already hard to keep up. Getting it, squid butt. Von Hammerschmidt or whatever it was. Alright, this guy is not going to be fast. Come on, SpongeBob. You got this. Sticky sweet. Can't go back. We must go forward. Wow, what a beautiful bubble. I want to pop it. You can't. It is indestructible magic thanks to the jelly you're collecting from my, um, our cause. Cassandra, are you sure this is the right place to find Sandy? The portal brought you right where you're supposed to be. Don't resist the jelly verse. Instead, take it, store it, and bring it to me. Besides, the jelly whispered that you've done some commercial work. Don't your square pants long to be in the spotlight once more? You're right! If it means saving Sandy and the world, then I'll just have to act my square heart out. Thanks, Cassandra. All right. So lucky to have Cassandra helping us. What a selfless lady. Ooh, more jelly. Yeah, it's a good thing that she has no ulterior motives at all. Citizen. Ouch. I shall save you. Anything over there? No. That's blocked off. You got Squidward over there. <laughs> so gooey. safe to look around for just a smidgen. The Krusty Krab pizza is the pizza for you and me. Help! Do care. Krusty Krab pizza is the pizza. I want to 
wanted to see a wimp run around, I'd be directing Wimp Racer 2, like my agent told me to. This is a karate film. But I guess I have to work with what I've got. A karate kick. A Y. Karate kick it. Now, to really prove that you know how to embody a great hero of karate, I have prepared a little challenge for you. Across the roofs of the city. Now, kick down that door and get moving. I say we wah, kick things off. <laughs> Oh. A little dabble do ya. All right. Check out the area. There's a lot of water. SpongeBob, it's all up to you, my friend. I think it's weird that they don't allow you to karate kick anywhere, though. SpongeBob. Oh. I knew I could count on you, Patrick. That sucked. Hitting the wrong buttons over here. I like how it gives you like an arrow of where to go. Oh, carp! My limbs feel even spongier than usual. Well, I hope Cassandra is right, and all this bopping around will lead us to Sandy. I've never seen a fish like this. Ah. See if we can do this. Let's sell this way. Try this again. Geronimo. Too low. What? These little ones look quick and hungry. Yeah, we got that in common. Not the quick part. I think we'll need that part to get past them. Oh, no, not these guys again. Karate kick them out of my darn sack, would ya? Oh, we're gonna do that. We're also gonna get rid of all of these. Thank you. 
Now there's always an issue with paparazzi. Taste of what? The jelly? Or not this is the jelly you want to taste of. I just like destroying things, so we're gonna hit everything that we can. Hey, exploding tiki. Let's get us up higher. I'm flying. No. Here, Mr. Sponge. Ouch. Owie. We're not on our way over there just yet, Pearl. Old Pearl Jam. If we can get some of this stuff back here before we activate whatever she has to say. There is one over here. Maybe you should have not done that yet. Patrick kind of looks like the bubbles. No cameras. That is a big pearl. <laughs> so gooey. Alright, so that'll take me back out. Really surprised I haven't found a coin or anything yet. There is a big pearl up there. What is that? There's golden underwear. Oops. No.
All right, let's see if we can do this. Wait, no, it's over here. We need to try it. Golden. I'm feeling better already. Hey, sure, yellow and spongy. There's a lot of paparazzi hiding on this set who wish to smear the director's reputation by capturing the fishy side of his process, which obviously doesn't exist. It would be real cool if you could distract them with some of your fancy moves. I will make myself extra picturesque. <gasps> Whoa. Nice. We're doing pretty good. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to jump around town to get to you. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So we got three out of five. Little, little, Lee. Next one's way up there. I got to get up there somehow. We can do this. We are the Spongeonita. Nice. How are we doing? We've gotten one out of ten, three out of eleven, zero out of eight. Oh, we could spend our coins to buy stuff. I didn't realize that. Or 
or not our coins, our jelly is what I meant. Nah, we're not gonna do it yet. But soon, soon enough, we will. I guess some guy dealt with the paparazzi. You can pass now. And we're actually gonna call it an episode there. So thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think about the game down below in the comment section. I really enjoy playing SpongeBob. I think y'all enjoy watching it. So let me know. Have a wonderful day. God bless. Next episode.